Hey guys, it's Murad Murad. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. Please do subscribe to this channel. I'm coming at you with content 24-7. I'm coming at you with this review of this reunion as soon as it ends ASAP, and I would appreciate it. So let's just get straight into this as well. <laughs> so you can f with other people's businesses, but they can't f with yours. Oh, and she f with my business the moment she talked about my business at the Bailey Q. Kenya is dragging Nini. I just want this Tanya and Kenya dialogue to take place because I really want to know what is going on between them two. Tanya has a lot to say, but every time they try to have some dialogue, it seems to be interrupted, like when Nini was about to spit on Kenya. Tanya has a lot to say, and I just want her to just really get in there because what happened to her was just wrong. But from a producer perspective, Kenya was bringing all those ratings and controversy and critique, which the show actually needs. Tanya really went in on Kenya. Kenya is getting dragged right now in this reunion, left, right and centre. She is just being dragged. And of course that's going to take place because she was definitely the one who did a lot on this season. And Portia really is becoming the narrator. She really is holding everyone, governing everyone and really again is dominating this reunion the second time in a row. This is what I didn't really see. Why is Eva here? To this day I simply just don't know. She's not really adding value to this part of the reunion. I'm over Eva. Like I feel like hopefully next season she just won't come back. Tanya did hold her own and especially with Candy. She made a very good point. It's about principle. You need to have principle. Your friend was wrong. Let them know that they are wrong. And if you were there, I would have believed that Candy would have said something. But you being there or not being there shouldn't be a massive significant factor to let your friend know that they are in the wrong at all. So I really feel like, yet again, Portia is really dominating this reunion. I feel like that is going to happen. The person who does the worst in the season normally gets dragged. Season 11, it was Nini. Season 10, it was Kim. Season 9, it was Phaedra and Portia to an extent. So it's just going to be happening. And season 7, it was Nini again. Season 6, it was Kenya. So you have a housewife who normally just gets dragged because they end up being the one who does the most. And I'm just here for this reunion. I feel like so far, it's giving us some good stuff. Normally part 2 gets quite boring or whatever, but this is really giving us everything. And Portia with that glam read, Chad, this is becoming everything. Eva needs to go, that's what I'm saying guys. Next season, Yvonne needs to go. Please. Please. She needs to go. I wouldn't take it back, because if I took it back, I wouldn't have her. I'm sitting on big hug. They talking about me. Talking about her domestic situation 
and she gets very emotional. So it really just shows, you know, the trials and tribulations that really she has overcome when it comes to this particular reunion, just, just her life in general. And she gets emotional and she storms off and all the ladies are just a bit silent because we haven't really seen Eva in this capacity. So, you know, she is divulging in this and this is her life story. And I feel like something that we can't, you know, mock or laugh about whether you like the girl or not, it really isn't something that anybody really can and they shouldn't. Um, I feel like, you know, you can commend the girl for speaking out on these serious issues about her being, you know, physical altercations taking place and wow, we haven't really seen the, the vulnerability side as much until now. So it seems we're getting more into the depth of who Eva actually is and we would have liked to have seen something like this throughout the season but we didn't really get much of her other than her being with her husband or having babies. We didn't really see anything else as much. So my question now is to you guys as an audience, is it too little too late? Are you guys like, do you guys want to see the next season? I definitely do not. I feel like I'm just over her, regardless of this important situation that she is bringing up. What else is there? Like, I just don't really see any substance. I feel like there's a substance issue when it comes to her. You can only go so far with Eva as a character on the show. We've given her two seasons and a half now. I feel like friends of the show, like Tanya, are giving more, or Marlo is giving more child. Even this damn Philip and Yovana gave more than Eva. But still, Commend her for bringing this up because it was a very hard thing for somebody to do. He says on there, I don't know why I don't got a show. I mean, they just seem to keep giving this person the show, the season after season. Well, at the time you said it, they just started production of my new show, bitch. Girl, you ain't in it. Well, she got it right the first time. It's unforgettable. Go back to your way and continue to bring bottles to try to stay on top. Also have Nini and Candy. This is basically they're basically like oil and water. These two will never really get along, child. And when they did get along, it didn't last for that long. And finally, we reached a massive tumultuous moment for their relationship or whatever you want to call it. And you clearly see that I feel like Nini was talking about Candy there, and Candy was really turned. She was really, really turned. Would she be that turned in person? I don't know. She isn't afraid for dialogue, but I don't know if she'll be that turned. But she was really pissed off and irritated because you know Nini was talking about her, and Nini did not like it, and she got up and she walked away. She called it Miss Forgettable, the lunchbox. The way she said, learn from the lunchbox, learn from the lunchbox, seems to be another new saying for Nini, and I find it to be absolutely hilarious. But Portia was really just holding this reunion. Again, I feel like she dominated, and she really took it into a stride. This was going to be the season where perhaps people would come for a relationship from what has happened, but she kind of neglected that from happening, held her own, and continued to go forward. Tanya read Kenya for filth, rightly so, I'm glad that she did. Kenya has been getting dragged, and we can see in the next particular teaser that Yovana is around and Nini has left the scene. Personally speaking for me, I'm over Yovana. I'm not really looking forward to the part three of the reunion. If Yovana is the only person they're going to bring to kind of bring something, then I'm kind of over it. Because I feel like this season wasn't that great, so the reunion won't be that great as much. I feel like the first part was epic, second part was pretty good. 
I'm, I just don't care for the Yovana snake gate, so I'm not really looking forward to the third part, but hopefully you can deliver with more than just this whole situation with Yovana and Cynthia Chan, because I really don't care for it. I genuinely don't. But let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this reunion. What are your thoughts? Do let me know. Subscribe to the channel, please. I would appreciate it. It's just one click, click that button, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Morali, and I'll catch you guys soon for another review.